Hi there. Now here we've got a question based on equilibrium of a rigid body. And if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't had a chance to read it, just give you a moment to pause the video. And when you come back, as usual, I'll take you slowly through the work solution and explain various methods on how to do it. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So we've got to find this length d meters between a and c. Now before we start let's put some forces acting on this beam here AB. We're told it's a uniform beam and it has weight W so that means that the weight's going to act in the middle so we we'll just mark that in there as W newtons and because it acts in the middle and the length of the beam is four meters then this distance will be two meters there. So got that in and there'll also be the tensions in the two strings at A and C holding this up. We're told that the tension in the rope attached to C is double the tension in the rope attached to A. So if I call this tension which acts upwards here T newtons then this one acting at C will be twice that, so it's going to be 2t newtons. So we've got all the forces now acting on the beam. Now when it comes to solving questions on rigid bodies in equilibrium, what we tend to do is we resolve. We resolve in a vertical sense for a question like this because there are no horizontal forces so we don't need to resolve horizontally. So we resolve vertically and then we take moments about any point on the beam. And that will allow us to create a couple of equations where we should be able to solve simultaneously for D. So let's start by resolving vertically. It doesn't matter whether you go up or down as the positive sense. I'm going to take upwards as the positive sense because it just means that the t's here will be positive. And what we've got here is a total of t plus 2t acting upwards. That's 3t. And then you've got minus w because it acts in the opposite sense here. Minus w. And that's our resultant force. And because it's an equilibrium, that resultant force must be equal to zero. So from this, we can see that therefore T would be equal to W divided by 3. And I'm going to need to come back and use that equation later, so I'll just number it 1. Now we've got to take moments, and I'm always asked, where do you take moments about in a question like this? Well. You can take moments about any point you like. Let's say we call this point where the weight acts, let's say we call it D. So you could take it about A, D, C or B. And I'll show you the equations that you get um, when you take it about various points. But let's suppose we take it about A, okay, moments about A. I'm assuming that you are familiar with moment of a force, that is that it's the force times the distance from the point that you're taking moments about. If not, do check out my video tutorials on this. Now we need to take a positive sense when you're taking moments and again it doesn't matter which way you take whether it's clockwise or anti-clockwise. I'm going to take anti-clockwise in this one, okay? But do experiment. So some people I find have a bit of problem knowing which way these forces turn uh, in and one way that I think helps is if you were to take a ruler okay and let's just say that's our ruler we're taking moments about a and if this is a on the end here just put your finger on the ruler let's say that's your finger and that's the remaining part of your hand put your finger on that point there and then we'll start applying the forces that we see in red here and we'll see which way the ruler will turn. Well if we were to apply this force on the end here at C, let's just say we push that in, it's going upwards so we push the ruler in that direction 
to simulate that force, okay, at C. Can you see that this will turn the ruler in an anti-clockwise sense about A, in the positive sense? So its moment will be the force 2T times the distance from C back to A, which is D, which is what we've got to find anyway. So that's 2T times D. Then if we take the weight W, that is pushing downwards. We can simulate that by pushing on the ruler in that direction. And you'll see that the ruler will turn in a clockwise sense about A. Clockwise sense for what we set up here is in the negative sense. Okay, So this is going to be a negative moment minus, and it will be the force W times the distance back to A, which is 2 meters. Now, when it comes to the force at A, this tension here, any force that passes through the point that you've got your finger on, say, has no turning effect. The ruler wouldn't turn at all if you tried to push in this direction through A, okay, if you had your finger on A. So that's our resultant moment. And the beam is in equilibrium, so that resultant moment must be equal to zero. So that's our equation, and from this we could rearrange it and make D the subject. And if you did, let's just come over here, and you'll see why I'm coming over here in a minute, because what I'm going to do is show you how you could take other equations, other moments equations, about a few other points, okay? So if we just give ourselves room there, if I was to carry on here, make D the subject, D would equal 2W, if I add it to both sides, divided by 2T. So you've got D equaling 2W divided by 2T. Well, those two twos cancel one another out, and so you're left with W over T. And so I can see that if I substitute T equals W upon 3, let's just say that we go from 1, Okay, I can now see that D would be equal to W divided by T, which is W over 3. And if I times top and bottom by 3 here, we therefore have D equals 3. So there's our solution. Now, you might not have decided to take moments about A, so what I'm going to show you is uh, alternative equations that you could have got. But do experiment, okay? It's the only way to learn this stuff. So when it comes to taking moments, I'll just put or there. Let's suppose we decide to take moments about C, for instance. And again, it doesn't matter whether you take clockwise or anticlockwise as the positive sense. I'm going to take clockwise as the positive sense. So if that were the case, Think about your ruler, holding your ruler at this point here, okay? And then if that were the case, what we would have is this force here would want to turn in the clockwise sense. So it would be T times the distance from A to C, which would be D. So you're going to have TD. And then we've got the weight here, which would want to turn around C in an anti-clockwise sense, so that would be minus W, times the distance from D to C. Well, that will be all of D minus the 2 here, so you need to put that in brackets, W times D minus 2. As for this force here, if we're taking moments about C, it has no effect. It won't turn it, okay, because it passes through the point that we're taking moments about. So this is the resultant moment, and it will equal zero. So you could use this equation to work out what D was by substituting T equals W upon 3 in here. Try it. You should find you get D equals 3. You might decide you want to take moments, say, about D. Let's do that one. Okay, moments about D. What equation would we build up here? Let's take clockwise as positive. 
So if we're doing this one, starting with this tension here, taking moments about here, this is going to want to turn it about D in a clockwise sense. Okay, remember if you had a ruler, put your finger on this point here in the middle at D, push in that direction, the ruler turns in a clockwise sense. So it'd be T times two for its moment. T times two. And then this has no effect in turning it because it passes through the point we're taking moments about. But for this force here, this force is going to want to turn it in a negative sense, in the anti-clockwise sense about D. So it's going to be minus 2T for the force times the distance D to C, okay, which is going to be D minus 2. So you've got 2T times D minus 2 and that will equal 0. No overall moment, okay? And again, you could use that equation coupled with this one and you should find D turns out to be 3. So several ways that you could do this question. So I hope that's given you some idea anyway, okay, on that.